person last time. <laughs> you don't like it? No. My name is TJ. And we are the... Hollies! <laughs> so today, um, we asked someone on, on Facebook to like, you know, give us ideas on what we should film. So someone told us um, to do a recent Philippine trip review of it. You know, how the things like the Philippines are, stuff like that. So, I prepared some questions for him. We're going to recap on old memories. So, first question. How was the culture? The culture was nice. Uh, you know, but they're, they're nicer people. Like, I, I have to say, I'm experiencing compared to America, they're, they're a lot more genuine. I'd give them that. Were the locals friendly? Ties back to the first question. Um, yeah. They were actually very friendly. <laughs> Treat, you know, they treated me very, yeah, very, very nice. Especially my family. They're like my family now. How was the food? So the food was, it was good. The, th the thing is it was exotic too. Bubba, <laughs> <laughs> but you have to eat it. The, the f they don't waste anything. Like, yeah. when it comes to, like, the animals, they use, like, every part, pretty much. That is so true. Like, if you've, you know, if you've been to the Philippines, you, like, probably heard all the street foods, like, you know, the chicken intestines, like, the feet, the head, everything. It's, the blood, part of the blood. I, I think Tocino is probably the thing I like. <laughs> Tocino? You like Longanisa, too? Longanisa, yeah. So, next question. Will you marry me? Oh my god! <laughs> no, so, was it expensive? No. Not, not compared to here? No. I mean, but at times when when we're not looking, <laughs> we go a little hectic. You were so surprised. We went to this restaurant, like, inside the mall. So, it wasn't a bad of a restaurant. Like, I remember going there. I will only go there, like, Mm. Once in a blue moon, yeah. and we only paid forty-eight dollars for like, was it like eight of us or twelve of us, something like that. Yeah. But we only paid um forty-eight dollars, and we still had leftovers. Shakies, right? Shakies. What shakies? Yeah. Hold up. It was not shakies. Um, it, it was Jerry's Grill, mm. the one with um, it's like a bar kind of thing. So what currency was used? Credit card and debit cards accepted. Certain areas, I mean, I guess like popular areas, like the malls, kind of like you still know, not accepted. All, not, still not all the malls accept credit cards. Yeah, not really that much. But in all honesty, using the cash was so much fun because like the different colors of it. Like yeah, I colorful. will say, carrying around the change in my pocket, oh my gosh, you felt rich. That that was. <laughs> Remember that time that you had like so much change? You put it in a plastic bag and then you gave it to the church. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good job. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. it was, it was. Man. Yeah. So speaking of church, 
Um, I wanted a church wedding. Who doesn't, you know? With our culture, like, most girls want to have a church wedding. But he doesn't have a religion. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't baptized or anything. So when we went to the Philippines, um, he got himself baptized. So we can have a church wedding in the Philippines. That was supposed to be this year, but we were scheduled to be this year. Yeah, so, yeah, that's why he donated all his change. <laughs> Did you get good weather? The weather was, it was actually really nice. It was always like sunny, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes rainy, but like, even that was beautiful. I like it at night because it's so hot. Given the fact we went December and January, it was too hot during the Not day. Not humid. Not humid though. Not humid, but like at night it's like 60s, which I love very much. Little, yeah, it was not too chilly, but way better than like how it would be here in the winter time. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yep. So five degrees. How did you get there? How was the flight? What route did you take? So we had a layover. What was it? Korea. Korea. Yeah, in Korea. I mean, we didn't stay there long, but I it was we, no. We didn't, like, I think it was like two hours stay over in Korea. But then, you know, the the line, to, like, through costumes and all that stuff in Korea was kind of like, it took a little longer. So, instead of us having a two-hour layover there, it happened to be just like 25 minutes. We had to leave. But yeah. going back, it was like five hours stay over. That was the <laughs> longest layover ever. <laughs> Since, you know, like, you didn't want to leave Philippines. Yeah, and <laughs> and that that layover was like from in the till the morning time till seven a.m. We were gonna leave at like seven in the morning, right? No, so basically we yeah we landed at like two a.m. Yeah, at, we left at seven a.m. Oh That's my true. gosh! And like yeah, the you know it I being, lost my AirPods. Did that too. <laughs> <laughs> she lost her AirPods. Rest in peace, yeah. but. Oh my gosh, like it being sad with going home on top of being, being there that... Uh, yeah. So, did you use public transportation? If so, what is your favorite transportation? So, yes and no. Um, I I will say my favorite is the tricycle. Like, doing the tricycle was so much fun. Um, but I did want to do a jeepney. We, we didn't oh, get yeah. to do the je jeepney, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Next time, for sure, you know, but... I, I did have fun with the tricycle, sitting in the back, sitting in you know the side cart. Oh, so much fun! Yeah, I like the I like the tricycle, but the only thing is I'm too big. You don't like the I'm, sitting. I'm the only one that fits inside. I'm not big at all. Really. Wow, I'm very big. Abba, this all this fat. It's muscle. It's muscle. Can you touch it? If it's muscle, see. Very, I know, strong. <laughs> so yeah, like, um, but we, um, because my, like I said earlier, my, my cousin has a tricycle that you know we just text him when we need to be somewhere. Shout but, out to George. Yep. Yeah, basically, if we're just going around, you know, around our area, which is Bumoy, going to City Mall to chat, you know, that that's fine. We'll just use a tricycle. But there was one time we were so desperate to find a place to make IDs because someone bailed on our Shargao trip, but the ticket was already paid for, and we wanted my other cousin then then to use it. <laughs> but unluckily, we didn't find any places to make fake IDs. <laughs> but um, she yeah, was that, there in spirit. That was that was the longest tricycle ride ever. Oh, because yeah. we went to Chaong, went back to Bumoy, went back to Chaong. Then go to Candelaria, which is very far, in a tricycle. I think that's how I got to. I oh yeah, possibly because of the smoke. It's possible yeah. in that area like the dust because and stuff. I stayed with her other cousin to you know drink. Yeah, you know, I was drinking with my cousin ala. and my my uncle. Oh my gosh, yep. that guy. So what mostly did you wear? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I wore tank top and shorts, but mm -hmm. most of the time, like, if I wore chinelas, it would probably be walang chinelas because I, I would run around barefoot. Like, yeah. I had such dirty feet. He was running barefoot, like, going to my, because my grandma, had, um, she has this little, <laughs> what you call that, like, little farm in the back. Like, her like, little pathway. 
yeah, with like animals and all that stuff. He would walk there without the slippers. There was one time he went upstairs and I saw his feet. I was like, what the <laughs> heck happened to you? Bad. That bad. So what did you eat? Oh my gosh. So basically it depends on what what bike passes. So, you know, they had Panda Sao, you know, Panda Coco. And then we went on He calls to it Put Put. He calls it Put Put. Put Put? Yeah, oh because, of the, because of the. Um, because of. They have this little horn things that they use when they, you know. He, he waits for that, like that Panda Coco, like that ham and cheese bread or Spanish bread. It's always at 2 30 in the afternoon. Oh, it's yeah. so yummy. He, he loved the pandi as well. And then the they have like lugao, mami, like it, it's all so good. He, he loved the lugao. I remember I told him, um, I want to get lugao, you want to go with me? And he said, no, I don't think I'm, I'm going to like that. I would ever like that. So I was like, just go with us, just to hang out while we eat and then so we can plan the day ahead, stuff like that. So he went, when he saw it, he tried it. His stupid ass asking for a next bowl because you know how when you buy mommy, right? It's like <laughs> you can get the broth over and over for free. He was about to ask the guy to give him another bowl because he thought it was free. But you know, we didn't mind paying, so we paid for another bowl for him. He loved the chicken skin, but he doesn't he doesn't eat it uh, with um, vinegar. He just um, like throws it all in the Oh, mess it up. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, by that. Like, I know. Mm -hmm. It just, not everything. The it log, all of it. Like, and that's special. Because we talked about bread, it's so funny that um, my um, my cousin, who's our neighbor, Atimije, if you're watching. So, Atimije gave us um, chicken, like fried chicken. So, it was in a container. She Ooh. gave us like three pieces of chicken legs, <laughs> I believe. Something like that. He liked it so much. Mm. But, he knows, I told him way before that if a neighbor gave you food, it's <laughs> either you return the container um, unwashed or you return the container with food in it. So he put Pandisal in it and returned the <laughs> container. And, and Kuya Payat, Atimi Jay Sasban, was wondering why there was bread inside the container. So Atimi Jay messaged me and then I messaged her that I said, you know, because TJ <laughs> thought that he can put any food in the container if someone gave him food. It's just, you know, like returning the favor, basically. But he put pandisa. Who does that? Because, you know, my, my, my OCD didn't want me to give her a dirty container. You know, I wanted it to be clean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to put something because I, I can't cook. <laughs> she used to cook. So, what did you drink? Oh my gosh. So, I drank a lot of alak. So between Alfonso, between Red Horse, between, you know, Fundador, like... You never tried gin. Soju? I, That's I, where he tried soju. When I tried Jinro and soju for the first time, I thought they were messing with me because they were like, yeah, try this. It tasted like straight water. And I was just like, you guys are messing with me, you know, you're, they're, but they're dead serious. That that's when I know that soju can be very dangerous if you drink too much of it. Mm -hmm, because you don't taste it, but then it hits you pretty oh, hard. Best rice wine out there. Tang? Oh, I miss tang. That that is very good. You know the, 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 the London and the calamansi. Yes, oh, so we love those. What did it smell like? <laughs> what it did smelled, it smell like? It smelled like baboy, baka, mano. It's it smelled like hayo, just yeah. like farm. Yeah, all like, the time. You know, there's a lot of piggeries there, so there are like times that there's just like strong, strong pig smell. It's going to like touch your nose or something like that. <laughs> touch. <laughs> it was bad. It, it was bad. It, really bad. You know, when you have the tiktalao in, in the morning, you know that's the first thing you smell. But you get used to it. it the longer you bad. smell it, the more you don't smell it anymore. Like just keep on doing. <laughs> Until they're all gone. Your, your nose you starts to like it. Your nose, <laughs> like, adapt to it. <laughs> Good job! So, did you learn anything new? So, I, I learned new, new adaptations, I guess you could say. Like, I, I learned that Dabo 
The, I didn't I didn't learn how to use it with the bathroom, but I did learn how to use it with shower the Lego. Bath, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like we had we have showers back home, but we don't have hot water. So my grandmother's helpers, they used to like boil water in the morning before he gets up. So when he takes a bath, you know, the, he will just mix it with the cold water so it will be warm. So yeah. but then, you know, you cannot attach it to the shower. So he learned how to use towel. I'm trying to get him to try or like learn how to use stubble washing the school yet, but he doesn't want to. Uh, in, in maybe in due time, but it that's that's way too new, way too new. He even asked me when you wash your puya, do you touch your tie? <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, you know very curious. <laughs> But I didn't know how to answer that actually. You need soap us. I think someone needs to make a tutorial for that. And that wouldn't be me. <laughs> Would you recommend it going to the Philippines? Definitely. Ten times over. Yep. Yep. Anyone maybe learn a few Tagalog words and just head your way there. Just learn como esta, como esta po. All set. Yep. So next question. Which was your favorite place that you went? Ooh, favorite place. Um, for me, it's a shark. I mean, yes, shark was very nice, but it's like you know the whole new everything was a new experience for me. So it's like you know, pretty much going in every part was a, a good part. I mean, yeah, I would say my favorite place would be her province, just just for the simple fact that like I got to meet yeah. a, a lot of new faces. But like, for me, like, like Shargo, you know. Shargo trip is like I never really went to like different parts of the Philippines. Mostly it's like I went to Baguio one time, or and then like you know Manila, and just and then Quezon Province, Laguna, the towns. That's all. I never really went to a different island. I never really did like touristy stuff. So basically, for me going to Shargo was a dream come true. It was like a first for both of us. Achievement. Because like, <laughs> but the sad part was I was sick when we got to Shargo. Uh, so. Yeah. When we arrived, I was sick, and then the first day of the tour, which was the next day, I was sick. So I had to stay at the villa for the whole day, or like for the whole two days. And then, you know, I missed the what you call this? The the like the the the, the pool. first tour. The, the first tour. First tour. Very nice, like lagoon lake. Like it's not the lagoon. The lagoon is different from the pool. The pool is the one that when you jump, like crystal clear water, not the greenish teal kind of water. Yeah, everything was so clear, but it's very salty. You need you need goggles. you need goggles. I, I but wanted it's so that's, clear. That's the one I want. Uh, I really wanted to go was that pool, but like I said, I was sick. So yeah, that's why when we go back next year, I will definitely go back to Shargao just to do that. But then you know, the second day of the tour, I was feeling okay, so we went to Sohoten Cave. We got to like touch jellyfishes and swim like in the cave with green water. So, so pretty. Very. And then oh. we went to this one cave with um, rock formation inside, but the only uh, the only way out is for you to jump. So only our friend Chit went in and jumped. We just waited for him in the water. <laughs> He's very so adventurous. Going to Sahabin Cave, it was like two and a half hours to three hours road ride, right? and then going back, we almost got like stranded. Because there was a storm. I thought we were oh gonna say God. goodbye to our families. What? I thought I, I had to text them and say like I love you guys, you know. Mm. Forgive me for all my sins or whatever, something like that. And we stopped by Naked Island and we just spent there like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I like the shells. The shells are so mm -hmm. pretty. Like, and oh my gosh. And then we went to Guillaume Island. So, and then there's like infinite, like real life infinity pool. I will show you guys some pictures. So and pretty. then yeah, so pretty. And then I have a picture of me right here, <laughs> right here. Like, so I have a picture of me on that, like in the infinity pool I was talking about. But the real thing I was peeing while I was asking them to take a picture of me because I really need to go pee. But don't make it obvious, right? Yeah, we were not able to go to the pool island. I wanted to go there, but we didn't have enough time. And we didn't even, you know, we didn't even go surfing. We just watched people surf because like, we went to Cloud Nine like the same day as we had to leave. Probably we just stayed there for an hour and then we left going to the airport. Did you go again? <laughs> I, I actually plan on retiring there. Yeah. yeah. 
he, he said he after after a week of being in the Philippines, he said, I want to retire here. I want to keep working, save money, you know, start up our own business here, have our home here. So when it's time for us to retire, we can go to the Philippines and just relax. So that's yeah. our main goal. It's like save money, you know, get this wedding over with, and then go back to working and working and working and working, and then go back to the Philippines and hopefully you stay there for good. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Thank you guys for everything. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know, it's do right so there. now. Yeah, do so now. Also, don't forget to ring that little bell. bell that way you get those not notifications every time we mm -hmm. post. Yeah, bear with us. We're still not used to like doing this, like, you know, talking on camera. <laughs> so, Thank you for staying tuned. Yep. So, yeah, if you keep if you click on that bell button you will be notified every time we have a new video so might as well <laughs> and you guys you guys keep watching our first vlog but not subscribing what was that about <laughs> i'm kidding but yeah thank you so much for watching and again don't forget to like and subscribe that's not subscribe that's a like how do you subscribe <laughs> i don't know subscribe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so again, thank you so much everyone. Have a good one. Bye!